In early 2025, thousands of people in Southern California were forced to evacuate their homes as wildfires spread across parts of Los Angeles and its surrounding areas. I was sleeping, of course, and my dog alerted me that, that there was trouble. And when I looked outside, there's embers flowing across my yard. Well, I got a phone call at quarter to 11. There's a fire in the Palisades. Pack up and get out. Feels like doomsday. Yeah. The LA wildfires started on January 7th and quickly spread. The largest two were the Eaton Fire in the Altadena area and the Palisades Fire, which hit Pacific Palisades, Topanga, and Malibu. One month later, the fires have largely been contained, but not before destroying entire neighborhoods. It's just hard to even understand or even imagine. It's heartbreaking, not for me, but for the whole community as well. Everything that we know and love is gone. Not just this house, my whole city gone, man. The whole thing, like everything, my whole neighborhood, everything that I grew up to love and know is burnt up. Wildfires aren't uncommon in California, with thousands breaking out every year across the state. But these fires were particularly dangerous due to recent weather conditions. Severe drought, as a result of historically low rainfall, had dried out vegetation, making it easier for fires to start. At the same time, strong winds up to 100 miles per hour fanned the flames and blew hot embers over long distances. These embers then ignited more vegetation, making firefighting extremely challenging. Fire can walk, run, jump, and fly. And what we mean by that is with those embers, so with this wind that can carry those embers into that unburned fuel to reignite this fire. That's pretty much like a hurricane, except instead of rain, we had fire. In addition to dousing flames with water, firefighters used aircraft to drop a pink powder, containing a chemical that slows the rate at which plants burn, helping to prevent flames spreading even farther. Now, after weeks of effort, the fires are under control and the recovery can begin, rebuilding homes, communities, and defenses against future fires. Thanks for watching this week's Twig Science Reporter. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss our weekly episodes.